Good morning, everybody. This is Todd with the Forex Nitty Gritty Insiders Daily Video. Uh, we're in the middle of the week here, guys, and uh, the markets have been trending uh, in a downward direction here on the uh, euro dollar. And this is really what we like to see happen when we're looking for opportunities to trade the simple trading method. Uh, when we've talked a lot in the past about knowing what direction that things are going and being able to identify our trend here is the key point of making this successful. And so if we see that the trend is in a downward direction, we want to look at opportunities to short whatever the pair is. Or if it's in an uptrend, we want to look for opportunities to go long. And so regardless of what uh, direction it is, we have the ability with the simple trading method to trade that and be profitable either direction. Now the problem comes when this trend that we talk about becomes undefined. Un defined meaning that it's not deliberate in how it's been moving and if something is not deliberate in the way that it's moving then we are putting ourselves into trades that are going to be less likely to be profitable for us because the trend has not been established so knowing the trend and being able to define it as an up or a down trend becomes a critical part of our overall success when we trade. After we define that trend, then we look for the pullbacks, like we see here, back up to a resistance and if the trend is down or a support if the trend is up. And then looking at the LL3 in order to know when to actually enter into that trade. So this being an hourly chart, we don't have a lot of a lot of uh, uh, or we have fewer choices, I should say, than some of the shorter time frames. And when we see this, the other thing that we want to take into consideration, and by the way, let me uh, put on here just a simple moving average, 40 period simple moving average, and you can see pretty clearly that the trend is moving down. Um, one issue that we have to look at is the idea that when we find something that is channeling either to the upside or to the downside. And again, these lines that I draw really should be more of you know a zone or an area where there's some support or where there's some resistance. Um, and when we're in a downtrend like we are, we want to be buying at resistance areas. Well, you can see here we're currently at support. So even though we're in a downtrend, we need to see a little bit of a pullback before we're going to get too excited about looking for opportunities to trade this using the, the simple trading method. Now, as we look at different charts, and we're going to stick with the hourly chart. You can see the, the Aussie dollar is a little less. Um, trendy I guess it's a little less deliberate in its movement more of a sideways strong down movement uh, as of late so this rank uptrend of course this is inverse to the euro dollar pound dollar sideways right now this Japanese yen a little more of a downtrend and the US CAD 
is in another thing. So looking for those conditions to be met is critical. And sometimes because we want to trade, we force those issues, we force those trades when in reality um, that makes for poor trading. And we want to trade well, and so following the rules, looking for the set of conditions is the thing that we need to do. So with that, we will uh, wrap it up for today. We will be back tomorrow to take a look at how things continue. And if you have questions, let us know. But uh, we'll be back and uh, take a look at the market again tomorrow. So have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.